Welcome to Geek Philosophy, where we love geeky wisdom. If you're new to the channel, my name is Brian, and today I'd like to tell you about something I just got in the mail not too long ago, Pathfinder 2nd Edition Beginner Box. I know many of you are interested in trying out a new role-playing game these days, and I think that this may be a great place to start, especially if you're coming from 5th edition. One important reason is because as far as I understand it, the rule set for the beginner box is the same as the rest of Pathfinder 2e, meaning the rules haven't been watered down and simplified, it's just condensed a little bit for the box. The rules are the same. If you learn these, you'll be able to continue learning the same rules and add on to it with the core rulebooks. So that means transitioning from the beginner box to the rest of Pathfinder 2nd Edition should be pretty smooth. Look, I know there's a back order on a lot of Pathfinder stock right now because, yeah, the community came together and tried to support other creators. So there may not be a whole lot that you can order at the moment, or it may take a few months and probably well worth the wait for most of us. But to thank you for your support for this channel and for the larger community, I'm going to be giving away this exact copy. So stick around to the end of the video and I'll tell you how you can enter and win. Okay, let's take a look at what's inside. And I'm going to start with an underrated, potentially, accessory that you may not think of when you think beginner box. And that's the Pathfinder Pawns. Now these pawns are cardstock flat miniatures that you can use to represent your characters and the monsters during the game. The artwork is great, and it's on both sides of these cards, so it's easy to see during gameplay. So those of you familiar with 1st Edition Pathfinder may remember and recognize the four iconic characters, but there's also 24 other characters that you could use as PCs, and a bunch of other monsters. I point out these Pathfinder pawns first, because the pawns themselves could be used for a bunch of other tabletop role-playing games. And if you're new to the hobby, they're a great alternative to regular minis if you don't want to financially invest in all of those right out the gate. Pathfinder also sells separate box sets of these Pathfinder pawns. I actually picked up the NPC Codex and the Bestiary boxes a few years ago. They're really useful. Now, surprisingly, this is not a review of Pathfinder pawns, so let's move on. You also get some really good cards to kind of help keep track of the actions. I feel as if when you're starting out as a new player in a new game, especially if you're new to role-playing games, having the action economy laid out on a quick reference card is really useful. This is double-sided, so it has sort of what you can do in the turn type of thing on the front, and on the back some definitions for some terms that you're going to be familiar with over the course of playing the game. Now you also get some pre-generated characters laid out on some really amazing annotated character sheets. I really like these. You get the iconic wizard, rogue, cleric, and fighter that I mentioned, plus a booklet explaining the character sheet and a synopsis of each of the character's backstories. And if you watch my previous review of the D&D starter set, you'll know that I think there's a big advantage to using pre-generated characters when you're first starting out. But inevitably, and rightfully so, everyone likes to create their first character. So there are a few blank character sheets included as well. There's also a double-sided flip map that's included with the adventure that they have that you're playing in this box set. But I have to say, I really love the dice. Now, I know what you're thinking. There are just six primary colored dice, nothing really fancy. But that's the point. Color coding the dice makes it easier for everyone that's learning the game. When people are learning to play a role-playing game like Pathfinder or D&D or something like that, it's hard to figure out what all those dice do, what, what they are, what the names of them are, if you're not used to any of that to begin with. And when people are learning the dice, why say, roll the 20-sider? No, the other one. No, no, the other one. The kind of roundish big one. You don't need to say that. When you could say, roll the red d20. Then not only are they able to quickly find the dice, it's the red die that's there, but then you're also telling them what it's actually called. The red d20 helps them to understand that this die is a d20 and they don't have to keep looking around. There's also a list of dice on the sheet that they have with an explanation of what the names are. So, you know, they're kind of hitting it from all different angles. As far as the rule books go, you've got a hero's handbook that teaches you the basics of the game and shows you how to create and run characters with any of the included classes up to level three. Again, the same classes of the pregens that are there. And then there's a game master guide that actually provides some really great advice on how to run the game. 
It gives guidance on running campaigns and creating your own encounters and traps and just general game master goodness. The adventure included in the guide is called Menace Under Otari, and I can't really give you much advice on this. I haven't played it, but it looks cool, and I would say that I like the layout, the adventure notes, and the fact that everything you need to run it, obviously, is included in this box. Now, overall, I think this is a great box set, in my opinion. It's actually better than both the 5e starter set and the essentials kit. Whether this is the game for you is really up to you. It's if you like the style of play, if you like how the mechanics are, you'll have to figure that out for yourself. Will it replace 5th edition for you? Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe you'll still like to play 5e and you've got some other creator content that really fills in the gap with, you know, some of the official stuff that you might already own. But I really think that this is a good example of how to introduce someone to your role-playing game. It gets the players and the DM, or GM in this case, off on the right foot. But there's another important reason. Not only is the layout and the instructions, you know, pretty easy to follow, it's because you get all that stuff that you need to get started, but it's also useful beyond the first three levels of play. You can continue to use these pawns and the cards that they have and the map for years. And having that handy color-coded set of dice means you will always be able to help new players ease into the hobby without being intimidated by all the fancy dice. So. Anyway, like I said, we're giving away this box, this exact box. So you know it's been opened and I've looked through it. So while it's practically brand new, just know I have gone in and touched the stuff and looked at it because I was doing this video. But it's completely free to enter and win. We're just limiting it to one entry per person and I need to limit our shipping to just the North American addresses only. Sorry for everybody uh, else. I wish I could do that, but man, shipping. But if you live on the continent, all you need to do is be a subscriber to our channel and post a comment to this video that includes Galarian Geek. Galarian is the main campaign world for Pathfinder, by the way. As usual for contests on this channel, I'll be using a random YouTube comment picker to select someone at the end of the contest. Then I will reply to the winner's comment with further instructions on how to claim the prize and I'll also update the title so everyone will know when the contest is over. It starts at the launch of this video and it runs for two weeks. If you didn't catch all that, don't worry. I'll leave the information in the description below. Okay, thanks for sticking with me while I went over what I thought of the Pathfinder 2nd Edition Beginner Box. And I'll leave you with a little geek philosophy that actually comes from ancient Roman philosophy. I find it to be pretty appropriate these days. Every new beginning comes from some other beginnings and cheers. <laughs>